could clear skin up. Yeah, you know, and like Drew said, like it's a it's a confidence thing, you know. And yeah. when when you're in high school or in junior high and your body's going through all these different changes hormonally, you know, this can cause acne, right? Mm-hmm. Um, acne can be a bacterial infection in the blood, right? And it can also occur from clogged pores or not washing properly, or, or you know, when you know, in a good amount of time. And some mm-hmm. people uh, go a couple of days without like taking a shower or stuff like that. It's a bad yeah, thing if you do that, right? Uh, and I've actually seen a diagram where they have a person, and bacteria just grows on your skin. It grows on the outside mm-hmm. of your skin. So um, through time, more bacteria grows. So the longer you go, there's more bacteria that, that's on your body. It's, it's pretty sick when you see these little demographic or the, these little, like, basically have, like, little bodies, right? And they show mm-hmm. you, like, how this bacteria grows over time. Yeah, like the black light in science class. You see other germs yes. all over your body. Yes. Yeah. You're like, Especially if you, guys, if you guys have a lot of body hair, too. I mean, that's gonna cause even more so absolutely. if you guys men or even women if you have body hair then you got to keep that stuff clean or shaved absolutely so and summer is approaching so both males and females might deal with this and if you're on hormones and stuff like that right now you could be you know having a, an issue still there's still people that have acne when they get older they can get on their body they can get on their face like chest back it can occur in a lot of different areas so what is something that will really work or really help with this so we obviously have a lot of patients that are on hormone therapy, right? And this, you know, may cause a little acne at first or something might be off right away and they may be getting hormones somewhere else or there might be a hormone imbalance. So, you know, or they just might have bad skin. I mean, it's, it's you know, genetically you could have bad skin and it's more prone to acne per se in that, that case. So what do we have? We have benzoyl peroxide, which is a wash. And you can use this in the shower, in the bath. You know, you want to use this, you know, regularly. And at that point afterwards, we have clinomycin pads. So these are antibiotic pads um, in a wash, per se. So you're, you're hitting these different topical areas um, or of acne with this. And it could be slight, mild acne. It could be body wash, you know, on your chest, your back, whatever it may be. And it's going to help tremendously. Um, and then the clinomycin pads you follow up with after you dry off or air dry. At that point, you'll use the pads to, to hit the medication on there. And it usually clears things up or subsides things very quickly yeah you know and there's a difference between antibacterial and antibiotic like what he's saying yeah. is the clinomycin is antibiotic yeah if anybody if anybody's had any dental issues help with your mouth any yeah. infections that's pretty much what they give for so it's not just antibacterial right so you can't just use you know antibacterial soap or wash your skin right it's an actual pharmacy pres- it's it's doctor prescribed you know yes. so it's antibiotic so it's actually going to knock it out you know as opposed to just killing the germs that's correct so i mean this is going to work for most most circumstances and I, i've been through the ringer with acne and stuff like that even when i came down here i don't know if it was the the change of weather me sweating more humidity opens up the pores really they're open just you when know? your pores are always open stuff can get in there easily absolutely yeah. absolutely 100 percent. like when i came down like i was just getting acne in my back and i just could not get rid of it mm. and i remember this is way before i had titan you know at that point i went to a dermatologist and they put me on accutane which is very strong medication could damage the liver um, but it dries you out like crazy. I'm talking about like if you don't carry around chapstick and they, they recommend you do, your la- your lips will crack like crazy. And it, if anybody's had cracked lips, you know how it feels. It yeah. hurts. When you smile before you lick them first, you're like, oh, I should have licked my lip Oh, <laughs> man. And then you try to close it back up and you try to hold it. Yeah. <laughs> it, oh, it's, that's the worst. It's the worst. Yeah, it's the worst. It. Oh. yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you don't want that. So, and you don't want it to go on medications. We have to, you know, follow up on blood testing with liver enzymes and stuff like that. So, there's ways to subside or take care of this problem, um, which should be your first step anyway, right? Um, making sure that you're bathing correctly and you're bathing regularly. And at that point, if it's still not going away, now don't go overboard. Now, I see a lot of people out there that buy like ten products and use all ten products at the same time. You know, if you're doing that, you're drying out your skin too much and it will start clogging pores and you'll start getting acne because of that too as well so you know trust the process go along with it use the medication you know as directed and then you're still having problems after that there's definitely some other things that you can do to clear up your acne or uh, subside the issue that's going on yeah because I know with Accutane a lot of times people take it and their skin gets so dry and ashy and this and that then they have to use lotions or creams because they're ashy but then the lotions or creams give them oily skin that cause the breakouts to happen all Absolutely. over again so it's kind of like you know uh, yeah. you don't really want to take some vicious cycle yeah and not only that accutane too it's not topical no so no. it's something you're gonna i mean if you only, if you only have acne on your shoulders but you're taking something that's 
going to hit your whole body. Your whole yeah. body is going to be dry. Whereas this, if you have acne, say, on your shoulders, yeah. you put it right here on your shoulders. If you have acne you know, on your face, put it on yeah. your face, you can kind of spot it, if you will. So right. you don't have to, it doesn't have to hit your whole body. Right, and, and do possible damage to the internal organs, right. you know, like the liver. And then if you're a female, um, this can cause genetic defects, right, birth defects. So at that point, you don't want to do that. You know, I see a lot of people online and stuff like that. They ask for recommendations. People automatically go straight to Accutane. It's not, not, not the good medication to go straight to. There's other things that you can try or do that's going to help, like I said, with the problem or subside the issue that you have. Yeah. Um, all right, so what's going on, everybody? Big Irishman, what's up? Woke up energy, our dude, Demetrius out there. Carlos, all right. Icebox, how you doing? I hope you're having a great day. Black Will 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 this? How you doing? Uh, Valkor Matin Matron, how you doing, Mr. Kraft? Hulk Squad in the house, how you doing, man? How's the shoulder? Or was it shoulder? It, no, his, his hamstring. His hamstring. That's what it was. Hamstring, hamstring for him. All right. Uh, T O Prep Caribbean Vibe Charmaine, how you doing, man? I wish I was in the Caribbean right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Been in construction my whole life, sweating and covered in dirt. My acting was bad. Younger years, Hulk Squad. So yeah, I definitely know how it is. I, Drew's even done it down here. So, I I worked a summer like you know one summer building houses. The next summer I did was roofing. Now that was up north, so it wasn't that bad. You know, you had winter and then you had summer, which summer was hot. But me and Drew were talking. He was like, well, you know, when I first got down here, yeah, one was, of the first jobs I had, I was I was doing roofing. Yeah, I went from doing snow removal in in Boston to being on a basically 100 degree roof Sheesh. all day long so i went from being in a foot of snow to being on a black roof Woo. with no sun so it was like crazy it's dressed. brutal yeah i remember i was drink, going through gallons of gatorade i mean i don't drink gatorade like that anymore but going through gallons of gatorade my shirt looked like tie-dye from all the I salt bet. i bet and the bacteria i mean yeah it was oh it was, man. A, it was a nightmare it, 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 it definitely is. So when but it was better than the snow, though. When I first oh. came down, I'm like, yeah, it's hot, but I'd rather be wiping sweat than shivering. For I real. Said, I said that for the first year I was here. I'd rather be wiping sweat than shivering. It, so. It's still, it's still like still that. I'd still rather be wiping sweat than shivering. <laughs> well, you know, the, the few, like, chilly days, you want to call them chilly or whatever, like, even today, it's like 60s out right now. Yeah, today's 65. But we get to wear, like, we get to wear yeah, our, our right. nice jumpsuits, you know, yeah. these days, so... Yeah. You know, we, we, we get the, we're spoiled in that light. You know, it's not too cold, but it's, you know, cold enough where we get throw on some of these different clothes that we don't get to wear most of the year yeah, around. Tomorrow, the next day, it's going to be back to 85, 87. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. We'll it's going to get hot real quick, yeah. man. Real quick. All right. Christian Ortez, what's going on? Holding Outlaw. What's up, brother? How you doing, man? Mikey's recommendations is Big Irishman. Hercules Potion, MK677. Those are great combinations. You know, I get that all the time, too, about, you know, how to build lean mass or I want to just build mass and stuff yeah. like that. I'm talking about MK. Yeah. Um, you know, so it's really, it's really cool, you know, talk about some of these different therapies and see some of these different therapies working on you guys like that. Uh, Hawk Squad say, yeah, you guys suck. It snowed today. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. for you guys out there, man, have to go through that way. It's, it's April now. It's still snow in places? Yeah, like? man. It, I, last year it snowed all the way into May in some spots. I know the beach was packed this weekend. So oh, for we're, sure. We're good down here. Yeah, we're definitely good. Yeah. It's going to be, it's going to be back to good too, so. Well, like like I said, cold for us is 60 degrees, you know, that ain't cold anywhere else, so it's a good thing. Um, all right, so let's get into our first topic after the active protocol. Let's talk about our first general topic, uh, uh, what's going on out there. This is pretty crazy. Mm-hmm. So the first one is a social media post may become a second-degree felony here in Florida. Yeah. So it's, it's pretty crazy. Uh, our state's going to vote on it pretty much uh, about how making threats on social media. So if you say you're going to kill somebody, yeah. this is going to be taken very seriously now. Um, yeah, I, I think they sh- it should just because um, a lot of times that's how stuff starts. Yeah. Someone will make a post and, oh, yeah. yeah. And you'll, you'll hear about someone getting killed or a major crime happening or yeah. you know, rape, something bad, really, really bad happening. Yeah. And then you'll look back and post, oh, last week he said he was going to kill this person. Yeah. Or last week she said she was going to, you know, take the kids if this happened or whatever, you know. So nowadays, now it's kind of like, okay, don't say that. And if you do say that, it kind of like, you know. Yeah. It's it's weird because it's freedom of speech, but at the same time you're not really speaking it, you're typing it. Right. It's different, you know. Right. If, if I'm just talking with John, we're in the office. I'm like, man, that's crazy, man. If this guy doesn't do that, I'm gonna kill him if he doesn't if he shows up late. Right. It's kind of like joking, but he put it into a text or put it into a right, like a yeah. s- something that's there for years and years and years. Absolutely. I don't know. I think I think it's a good thing. I it is a good thing. thing. I I think that a lot of people throw a lot around, you know, some of these different things they say on there, um, and people 
do take these things very serious. And these things hold up in court when you put on Facebook and stuff. If you DM somebody, yeah. guys, best believe, 100%, I know for a fact, okay, that they hold up in court. Um, so just be careful about what you guys are writing and putting out there. I know, you know, before I remember when Facebook first came around, like, man, that's just Facebook, you know, yeah, like, yeah. come on, man, like, come on. No, now it's serious. Now it's yeah. it's sticking to a whole different light, and this is reality now. This is real. So whatever you guys are saying on there, like, just just be be cautious about somebody possibly using it against you um, or using it against somebody else. I mean, it could definitely work both ways. If somebody's slandering you online or something like that, yeah. you document that stuff, it will hold up. So just make sure. See, I wonder if they're going to have any fine print. Like, if you if you leave a disclaimer, because what if I have a site that's just like joking. a comedy site right. and I make jokes about, you know, just joke because I'm yeah. my site's comedy, you know? Right. And what if I say something now, they're going to be like, oh, well, that, I mean, it's going to be like, is there a certain emoji you use to say you're joking? I mean, it's going to be, it's going to have to get down to something. It's crazy, yeah. What if, like, all these people that do these comedy shows yeah. or comedy skits will say stuff like that. Man, yeah. if he doesn't do that, I'm going to kill everybody in the building or something right. crazy, you know. Right. And then now if you say that, it's like. Yeah, you don't know if it's entertainment that, purposes or not. Yeah. So, I mean, it's going to be it's gonna be a lot of gray area. It's, it's just really crazy, yeah. Some of the different things out there, it is nuts. You can't I mean, just say whatever you want anymore, though. It would be okay if people wouldn't take advantage of that and just yeah. be like, well, he... he it meant something to me, even though it didn't mean anything. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we have a question on here, and we were actually going to get into this too anyway. So um, we're going to get into, you know, because me and Drew were talking about it, and last week when we ended the show, there was another comment that came through. Mm -hmm. And it was somebody that said, hey, listen, you know, will you guys talk more about how to really get started working out and really how to get started in a nutrition or a diet plan or, or, or start eating correctly? So we're going to get into that. Um, but let's answer this question. So... Drew, you said recently you don't eat chicken and fish. How do you stay so cut when eating so much red meat? Um, basically, it was just me trial and error. I mean, throughout the years, I used to eat chicken, yeah. fish, turkey, because everyone else was doing it. Yeah. And after a while, I just um, it keeps me full. And I don't mean full like my appetite. It keeps my body full yeah. um, when I do red meat. So after, I, I don't know how I really transitioned to only red meat, mm -hmm. but... Um, just figure out what works best for you. Some guys are chicken, some guys are uh, fish. Mm -hmm. I stay lean because I eat clean pretty much mm -hmm. like 85% of the time. Absolutely. I have great genetics. That helps. Metabolism, that helps. But I mean... Tight therapies too. Yeah, oh, oh, tight. The ECA, <laughs> I mean, the ECA is like, I've been taking one of those a day since I started with that. It'll definitely help. But um, yeah, but um, just find out what works best for you. It's not just any type of red meat. Do you want to eat clean red meat? That's if you can key. get organic. If you do ground beef, get organic. Right. I find that organic ground beef at 85 or 88 is better than non-organic 92 mm -hmm. or 95. Mm -hmm. you know, that mm -hmm. extra little bit of fat's not going to hurt you. You can drain it out anyways. Right. But just make sure you have lean red meat and try it. That's the only yeah. way you're going to be able to tell is try it. Do it for a while. Don't just say red meat's going to make me big or make me fat or whatever. Right. I actually stay leaner on red meat than I do on um, maybe not so much fish, but chicken and turkey. I mean, mm -hmm. I take red meat all day. Absolutely. Tastes better, mixes better, uh, so I'm with, digests better for me. I'm with you on that, yeah. Drew. Uh, you know, chicken bloats me sometimes. You know, yeah. with me, it's uh, it's definitely been I've been a big steak guy the whole time, right? Everything everything I've done. Last six months, I said, you know, I'm gonna change it up because everybody's like, oh, all I do is eat steak. I can't do this. I can't afford this. I can't do it. Whatever. So I did chicken and fish. Like, you know, you'll lean up great on chicken and fish, but to really, you know, to gain lean mass, to be full, like, you know, I, I don't know. I, I, I obviously do better trial by error mm. with steak, right? Lean steak. Now I eat fillets. Before that, when you know the budget might not have been there, you can get. New York strips, and you can get New York strips pretty lean. Yeah. Um, and wherever you go, go back, see the butcher. If you guys really want to do red meat, give them twenty bucks or thirty bucks as a tip. Say thank you, man. I need you to cut me up the leanest cuts you possibly can. Mm -hmm. No fat on there, none at all. Yeah. You know, just cut me up the bits and then charge me for the weight of whatever it is. So it'll be a lot cheaper for you guys. A that point, and you'll get a lot better meat quality out of it. Mm -hmm. Um, but that's just yeah, that's just one thing you do. I mean, some people they don't do good with red meat. I heard you know people said they can't digest it as well and stuff like that. It might not be it might not be that well with your body. It might not go well with your body. See, I found that when people say you can't digest red meat, I don't think it's the actual substance. I think it's the texture because a lot of times 
when people are eating red meat, they're eating a big chewy stick. They have to chew it so many times it's and swallow fat. it and this and that. So it's like tough. It's not cooked. It's not cooked properly. They have to chew, chew, chew. Yep. And if they have to chew that much just to get it into their stomach, their stomach has to work that much just to digest oh, it. Oh, yeah. So a lot of times it's not so much, oh, red meat makes your stomach digest. It's the quality of the red meat and the texture and how it's made. Mm -hmm. You can get a meat grinder cheap off Amazon mm -hmm. and just grind all your steaks. Mm -hmm. So that way they're real fine and small. You mix it up with your rice or whatever. It's mm -hmm. a lot easier to stomach. It's a lot easier to digest mm -hmm. as opposed to having a big piece of steak that's half chewed like this yep. next to some rice yep. where if it's minced, ground all together, you could digest it better. Yep. Yep. So it's not just about what, what people, I mean, it's not the actual ingredient. I think it's how it's prepared. Right. If I eat some chewy steak that's not cooked the right way, yeah, it's going to sit in my stomach. Oh, red meat sits in my stomach. Mm -hmm. But if I go get some organic, 90% organic ground beef, which mm -hmm. is already ground, mm -hmm. and cook that right through me, mm -hmm. no problems. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much the same. Yeah, concept. You know, meat grinders sure. are huge, guys. Get a meat grinder if you want the food to digest better. So that is a, that's, a, that's a good trick, man. I mean, so at, at that point, you guys got to find out. But it's a good it's a good thing you brought that up. Like, you want to really cut smaller pieces, per yeah. se, I and then chew scissors. smaller ones, for sure. I have the kitchen scissors right there. So even if I don't grind it up, I just sit there and just cut it, cut it, yeah. cut it, cut it. Cut cut it into my rice, mix it up, and it goes on easy. I mean, even yeah. if you guys are cooking the steaks and you got a knife and fork, just cut cut smaller pieces, man. Yeah. I cut, like, pieces like that big. Like, you know, unless I really have to get it down. Like, I'm, I'm like, rushing. I'm like, oh, man, I got to do this. So I'll cut bigger pieces, per se, mm -hmm. but I won't eat the whole, like, you know, slab of meat or whatever it is, obviously, yeah. but I'm cutting it down, and I'm trying to I'm trying to chew as fast as possible because the more you chew in your mouth, the easier it is for it to be broken down yeah. in your gastro tract and going down there uh, with the enzymes and stuff like that. So... Yeah, I would much rather lower my... If I want to get cut holding out, just real quick, if, I, if, if you want to get cut, I wouldn't cut out the red meat. Maybe lower your carbs, sodium, sugar, and all yeah. that stuff. Calories, overall cal caloric intake. Absolutely. But um, I wouldn't necessarily take out the red meat. Like for breakfast, no, I, don't, no. I don't know your diet, but say breakfast, you could do like whole eggs and some lean steak without any carbs. You know, that's going to give you plenty of fuel to get through your day, through your workout without the carbs. You can still lean out that way. Absolutely. Yeah. Tavares, what's going on? Choose roofing. We just talked about roofing. That's funny. How you yeah. doing? So Big Irishman said we're heating up here in New Mexico. Stupid heat is already almost in 90s. It's not even summer. I love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Triple digits coming in summer for you, man. All right. Zero, zero. Most, how you doing? Uh, what's going on? Emo11, how you doing? Trainer Brocco, what's going on? Yeah, Holden says he keeps it 100 mm -hmm. all the way to time. Nice. Yeah, these are definitely sensitive times. All right, so I'm eating. So Big Irish was said I'm eating raisin bran cereal with vanilla almond cluster mix, and this is my second bowl. I can't stop eating. With MK, I believe it for sure. Hey, who who just said that with the uh, food? A Big Irishman. Big Irishman. What kind of milk are you using? Almond milk. Yeah, almond. He said. If you're using almond milk. Oh wait, maybe not. He didn't say that. He said uh, vanilla almond cluster mix. Use use half almond milk and half liquid egg whites. Throw a little protein with that. There milk. you go. Shad C. Fit, what's going on? Clubro, how you doing? H.L. Santiago, how you doing? What's going on? All right, what's up? I'm staking eggs every morning. That's a, that's a good start, yeah. man. Uh, I usually eat 10 egg whites to start the day. So Sound like John. Yeah, right? Um, let's get into this because we're running out of time quick. Time flies so fast talking with you guys. Yeah. So it's a great thing. We have time. Um, all right, so with this, let's talk about just getting started working out. Now, me and Drew, we were talking about like, you know what, we're so used to it because we've been doing it for so long, we're around a lot of people that, that know what they're doing and stuff like that, that we really don't touch on the subject. Yeah. So, you know, what's the first thing that you think that they should do, Drew? Uh, you know, when when you're like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna either, I'm gonna start going back to the gym, mm. I've never been to the gym before, um, you know, what's my first thing I'm gonna do? Uh, you know, for me, I, I'm like, all right, just, it, don't overcomplicate things. Yeah. Don't worry about supplementation if you're just getting back into it your first day. Mm. Don't worry about anything else. Try to put a game plan together about just going there and getting in the door. Cause that's yeah. like the, the first like thing. Because Drew was saying earlier that people are scared sometimes to go in. Mm. I was. You know, I was. Yeah. I was. I was probably the bigger guy in the gym because you know I, I had good size before I worked out. I was one of the when I, the first day I went into the gym. People asking me, "What do you do for this? What do you do for that?" <laughs> And I didn't even know what I was doing. Damn. So I, yeah, so I mean, I had the physique, the look to be in the gym, but I was so paranoid to yeah. go in the gym. For me, I would say the first thing before you go in the gym, figure out what your ultimate goal is. If you want to get stronger, it's going to make a difference how your workout is. Mm -hmm. If you want to just look good, if it's for a sport. So say if you're going to the gym and you want to be a power lifter, then go through your basic compound movements. If you want to go to the gym and you want to be a bodybuilder, 
then go through the basic bodybuilding. If you go to the gym and just want to be in shape, then do that. So I'd probably say the number one first thing is what do you want to get out of going to the gym mm -hmm. first? Mm -hmm. And after that, it's, it trickles down. But I mean, a lot of people just go to the gym. Like say if John's a bodybuilder, but I just want to, you know, lose a little bit of weight. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to go do the same stuff he does because right. it's different. So figure out what, you know, why you want to go first. Right. And then from there, now it's different too. You can Google search everything. Pretty much. You know, I started working out. It was like, oh, five, oh, six. It was Google a little bit, but not like now. You can no. watch YouTube videos, Absolutely. instructional videos, everything. There's almost no excuse. Absolutely. As soon as you figure out why you want to be there, you can just go online and Absolutely. You know, call tight and get your, get your stuff, do, do this. I mean, you have everything now. Yeah. Like literally everything. It's a lot easier nowadays. People have a lot, lot more education at their fingertips. You know, a lot of these resources at their fingertips you, are going to help them for sure. Yeah, you could be an introvert and still find all the information you need online or, you know, in yeah. terms of starting up and this and that. Where before, it's kind of like... I don't know anybody. There's no social media. I got to go in and ask the biggest guy, how do I get big? Right. It's kind of obvious. It's right. kind of, you know, weird you know, looking. You know, another thing you can do is if you are really scared to go in the gym and stuff like that and you want to start at home, you get some dumbbells. I mean, that's like your, your first thing. I would say like your first set of dumbbells, you know, just don't go overboard as far as the weight wise because you can use dumbbells in a number of different aspects as far as doing things at home, right? Yeah. So you can do biceps, you can do triceps, you can do legs with it, you know, because... I mean, there's a lot of different things you can do as far as with, with dumbbells, but you know, getting into the gym would be the first thing and overcoming that fear of going there. Next thing is, is like you said, you need to figure out what you want to do. And if you don't know what you want to do, to have some sort of game plan when you get in there. So, yeah. you know, start out doing some cardio, I guess, right? You can do 10 or 15 minutes of cardio, you know, light pace, get warmed up, you know, get the blood flowing, start burning some calories, and then go into a weight training program because you're definitely going to do some weight training along with, you know, cardiovascular activity. Unless you're just trying to lean up and just trying to just, I, but even then you're still gonna do some some weight yeah, training. You're gonna have to do something. Yeah, you're everyone, do some everyone has training. their reasons. A lot of times people will say a reason that's not good enough for you, mm -hmm. but it's their reason. I've had clients back in the day, like years ago, I asked them, you know, why you want to go to the gym? I just want to get out of the house and have some scenery to look at <laughs> for go. a couple hours and put an inch on my arm. So one of the first guys I you know got into the gym and he, one of the clients I had back in the day, he just literally wanted to get out of his house. Go to the gym from six to eight, be around a bunch of guys, hang out, and put an inch on his arms. That okay. was his goal. He got his goal quick. It took like it yeah. was quick because that's like an easy goal. You yeah. just want to get out of the house, put an inch on your arms. You never worked out. Right. But I mean, everyone has their reasons. If it's what if you just want to go there and just, I don't know. Like what if you just want to go for a run on the treadmill? Yeah. And feel comfortable enough to run in front of everybody else looking at you. Yeah. You know, so every it is never a bad reason to go to the gym yeah. ever ever. Uh, another thing is if you're really worried about you know people looking at you, this is another great tip. Because um, sometimes I go to the gym and like you know we, we'll definitely get recognized or getting talked to. One of us will for sure, if we, especially if we go together. So at that point, what happens is, is like I'll wear a hat, put my hat down as far yeah. as I can, put my earphones in, you know, and just go and be directed and kind of laser focus on what you're doing. Now you'll still have maybe possibly people coming up to you and be like, hey, what are you doing? And you're like, all right, but. Yeah. I mean, the regular person is usually not going to have to go through that. Yeah. And at that point, they can just focus in on what they really want to do and just hit it and, and and not worry about it. It's like putting blinders on. Yeah, yeah. I used to have a big pair of red headphones that weren't even on. Yeah. But I would wear them just so people wouldn't talk to me. <laughs> like, like, and they were red. They were like ugly red headphones I got from some cheap, like, you know, just regular. Yeah. And I just wear them. Like I would talk on the phone through them, but I wouldn't listen because they were like crappy headphones. Right. But I'll wear them just so people didn't have to do that. Right. A lot of times too is just wear like a hooded sweats, like a sweatsuit, cover yeah. up. You can do or that even too. ladies, 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 they have it a lot harder than us. Oh yeah. You know, they go in the gym and it's like have a bunch of creepy guys Ooh, like walking yeah. around and this and that. Yeah. And especially if they're not used to being in the atmosphere. Oh yeah. Like they're thinking, okay, I'm gonna go to the gym. I can finally get away from these creepy guys at the gas station. It's true. And then they go to the gym. And they have the creepy guy at the gas station next to them. Hey, how long you been here? What are you doing? It's like, you guys can cover up too. Take it yeah. off when you leave the gym. Yeah, no. yeah you know, I see some of the outfits. And listen, ladies should be able to wear kind of whatever they want to yeah. a degree, right? If, but, you know, the more skimpier things look in there, the more tighter things are, yeah. you're going to be around guys, right? Yeah. And, you know, some guys, you know, their testosterone's pumping, especially working out in the gym. Mm -hmm. So just be conscious of that. If you're a lady, you know, just be conscious of it. And I, I don't know the best advice to do. Like, mm -hmm. don't. Um, I mean, you could wear what you want. Some women like the attention. I mean, if I was oh, yeah. if I was a woman that lost thirty pounds Ooh. and now I have a six pack, I'm going to sports bra every day too. The same reason why guys, they, they if I put two inches on my arms, I'm wearing yeah. a cut off tank top to show it. But if you don't want to show it, yes, you want to just stick to yourself. 
wear a sweatsuit. And plus, yeah. you're going to be thermogenic in that sweatsuit anyway. I mean, right? I, I, you know, I see, you know, to make sure it's a Titan sweatsuit. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> uh, you know, I see it both ways, though. G- girls, uh, you know, I've seen girls with dazzled up with makeup and the girls that really don't care and it's, yeah, either way know, it's just however you want to be comfortable. however you want to be comfortable yeah, this isn't Planet Fitness yeah. I went to Crunch the other day it's getting <laughs> kind of crazy with those leggings though I gotta say oh that. I know like, those leggings are going uh, like and our what? leggings are pretty tight but but the leggings I see now right Cause I was, I was the thinking, skin ones the skin ones they're skin like they go in the yeah. like no, because the crack, it's, ca- it's like, called you know? skin it's supposed to look like they're naked they have I mean, they have a website on. where they have like a hundred different complexions and you match it to yours yeah so it's like it's called like it's like the same color as their legging. Like, yeah. it's, like whatever your complexion is, you get that, and it's like you can't even see. Well, even the ones that are different colors. Yeah, I see yeah, the yeah, red, yeah, the yeah. black, the gray, yeah. all these different, different colors. And they got all the scrunch with the yeah. inlets and all this that crazy like stuff. Yeah. It really does. The, you know, so it's getting it's getting crazy out there a little bit. I was talking to an ex-athlete who's got five kids and he's got three daughters and they're all young and stuff like that. And he's like, mm-hmm. man, he's like, I got to get right because, yeah. you know. <laughs> These guys are gonna come knocking and all this other stuff, and you know the way that social media sounds is these like days it's time for that. the MK six seven. That's seven. right, that's right. So, <laughs> you know, some of these guys are ready. They gotta get lean. They gotta get ready because they chase somebody down. They're ready to go. <laughs> uh, all right. So, the next topic was, uh, and we'll save the nutrition one for the next week. We'll, we'll talk about that next week. Um, all right. So. Getting drunk, and this was happened in Minnesota, right? This happened with with their courts. Getting drunk is not mean that you're mentally incapacitated in rape cases. So what does this mean? So basically name in terms is, is if you go get drunk, willingly go get drunk, um, and let's say you know you go home with some guy and, and things happen and the next day you didn't consent to it per se in your mind, right? But you were intoxicated. So at that point they're, they're saying that that's not, a, that's not rape at that point. Or right. sexual assault. I th- it's weird. It's like it's you have weird. to you have to dig into it and ask more questions because, um, I mean, I see like a lot of women, like what me and John were talking about before the show started. Like, what if a woman has sex with somebody because mm-hmm. she was drunk, and mm-hmm. then the next day she realizes, uh, I just uh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Right. And then she could say, oh, I was raped because I was drunk. Yeah. So it takes that out of it. Yeah. But at the same time, if it really did happen. I don't know because it's 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 true. No one's unless you're being forced alcohol into your body. I mean, yeah. if I if I'm sitting there drinking, 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 yeah. I'm feeling it, and I keep going, I keep going, I keep going, and then I black out. Yeah. Now, what's going to happen if someone is literally blacked out? Uh, that's what I'm saying, and that that's the case. And you know, prime example is like when I was in college, I was in fraternity, right? And you know, they would feed girls the cheapest liquor, po- or even guys, right? They'd get the cheapest liquor possible because people on college budgets. And they throw it all in this big ass like bag per se, and all this like fruit in there and stuff like that. Yeah, and then we, you know, we invite girls over, yeah. and they be drinking it, and they eat the fruit. And man, it, like you know, they're not eating, they're not like like consciously thinking, oh, I, I'm getting one drink and two drinks and three. No, man, they're, they're slammed yeah. within an hour. And it hits them both at the different different um, times too. You know, a, a girl was like out pretty much. You know, she uh, laying on a bed, like not moving. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And this one dude just tried, he tried to like go in there and take advantage of the girl. Yeah. We grabbed this dude up and beat the hell out of him because we found out what was happening from one of her girlfriends because she was trying yeah. to stop the guy. He's like, get the hell out of here. So, it, it, you know, in that case, like when they can't fend for themselves, yeah. I, you know, I, I, mean, I, I see it, you know, I'm, I see it from both angles. It's just, it's really messed up because you don't know what really happened because you really yeah. weren't in the room. Um, and it's, it's horrible on, on both circumstances because. Girls, it, it really does happen to. That's a tragedy. And then guys that get accused of it when they really didn't do it, that's another tragedy, you know? I mean, because girls are gonna, usually believed right away. What's going to happen if the woman says, I was drunk, and then the guy says, well, I was drunk? I, that's what I'm saying. That, I, then I it's gonna, supplies, then they might right? be able to throw that in there where it's like, okay, well, if she can say she was drunk and she doesn't, he could yeah. say, well, I didn't, I was drunk too. I didn't yeah. have control. So neither one it's, of them. Uh, it's crazy. So, you know, hopefully, you know, Hopefully this will be used in, in good circumstances, I guess. You, know, you just never know because every circumstance and situation is different. Yeah, I look at the football players, or I, I forget who. I think it's a football player. Deshaun. Yeah. Uh, a lot so, of guys, They uh, some some guys, they go to jail for a year, and then the next thing you know, the, lady, the girl's like, oh, he didn't rape me. Right. 
So what if it was a situation like, what if she was drunk? She's like, what if she was in a relationship already and she was drunk, cheated on her boyfriend, yeah. and then had to throw rape in there because, you know, it, she I, was drunk, this and that, and then all I, of a sudden a year later, oh, by the way, he didn't rape me. Oh, let's let him out of jail. He yeah. already lost his NFL contract. He yeah. lost his millions. His yeah. character's destroyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she's just, you know. It's crazy. Uh, it's really crazy. So, yeah. I mean, Deshaun Watson right now, he plays for the Texans. He was trying to get out of Texas. He was trying to get out of that organization, moved to a different organization. Now, this guy has had, a, like, Personally, he's at he's at a, like off the field. He's at a, usually a stellar you know background. This guy, when the hurricane hit, he donated his salary to the people there, like all the money you know for that. For and it was just crazy. So now he's got like, I think it's like I think it's twenty one girls or something like that that came out. Now it's not criminal; it's civil right now. So they're trying to get money out of him. But the NFL is looking into it right now because they don't care if it's criminal or not. You know they don't want anything that tarnishes the NFL name so we're gonna see what happens in this case because you know people are like well we got to hear all the facts and some people you know they're just they're making judgments right away you know like this guy you know obviously there's that many girls that have come forward then there might be a you know there's a trend there yeah. you know if it's one or two you know this, this could be somebody yeah, trying to get money playing, out of you saying and the me too playing the me too, the me too thing yeah. and it's it's crazy so we'll see how it goes and we'll see how these things go and uh, hopefully it gets better I don't know all right, um, let's see what else we got here. We got upcoming events. So our next event is April 10th, the Mel Chansey Champion Classic here in Tampa, right down the street from the Titan Medical Center headquarters. Yeah, so that's 0. 0.8 miles. Man, that's going to be awesome. Miles, close. I love not having to go far. Yeah, yeah, it's good. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, we have to go back and, and maybe get some, you know, some uh, some custom jerseys or some exclusive Titan gear. It ain't too right far there. down the road. Yeah. Plus, right. we can always pull over and have some photo shoots from people that are over there and pull them over if we really right. wanted to. Right? Yeah, yeah. So if you're coming in to town for this event, please check out Titan Medical Center. Stop by the booth, sign the iPad, get some free Titan gear. All right. Uh, the next one after that, we have May fifteenth. May 15th is going to be a busy day for us. That's going to be crazy. New York Pro, the real Lois Lane, Rachel Daniels looking to repeat. I can't wait. It's yep. going to be crazy. The it's buzz gonna be crazy. is crazy. She's put on some size yep. and conditioning. She's ready. So however she looked last year, I, I think she's going to look better this year. She's going to um, look better this year, guys. Trust it's me. It's going to be a good show, and it's yeah. going to be a Titan event. It's going to be a Titan event. Exclusive yeah. HRT and medical weight loss uh, clinic of the New York Pro, so no other... Other places will be there that even try to compete or try to be like us. Um, there is no other alternative. There is no other alternative out there, okay, than Titan Medical Center. It is what it is. Um, and then later on that night is the Tampa Bay Swim Week Fashion Show. So it's Fashion Week for swimwear. That went by quick that year. I'm telling you. So we had quick. 10 outfits we're going to be in, nice. in, in, in deuce, or including in this fashion show. And then we have Fashion Week that's coming on later on in September. So it's going to be crazy. So this is going to be I awesome. Can't, I can't miss my ECA. i got to be tightened nope. up. Nope. Got to be tightened up for this one. Yes. So And it's coming quick. I mean, it's next month now. I mean, it's, it's going to come fast. Summer's going to come right after that. Memorial Day weekend, everything too. Um, after that, June 19th. Deke Warner, we've got the Mid Florida Classic. Can't wait to go down there and be with Deke and back in Orlando. It's like our second home. Yeah. We should go back and forth between there. Um, stay in our Hyatt Regency Hotel. I love that place too. So oh, yeah. it's going to be an awesome, awesome time. That's going to be at the Rosen Plaza, guys. There's two. Yep. There's like three or four different Rosens in Orlando. Yep. It's the Rosen Plaza. So if you Google just Rosen, it might not be the right one. It's Rosen Plaza in Orlando. Wow. I like how Deke did that. It looks yeah, good on his website. Yeah. yeah. Just looks nice. Looks really nice. So, come and join us for all these events. Now, listen, guys, we got a lot more events going on here, Orlando. Um, so, even in, in we're going to be in Fort Lauderdale for one of these shows. So, stay tuned. Stay tuned to our social media. We'll have the updates on there for all the different things we got coming up. Um, plus, I think what May second, I think we're going to be included now in Ocala for Festival of Speed. I think we're going to go down there and be a part of that it's for, yeah. for Kentucky Derby. Yeah. Um, so it, it should be a really cool event. We've never been down there yet for something like that. So it should be really thoroughbred cool. Thoroughbred weekend, Ocala. Thoroughbred May, weekend. So Ocala is a big horse community too. So a lot of people have a lot of money out there. Mm. Horses are very expensive. Um, I remember growing up, we had 30 horses that had our own stable. It's really expensive. Mm. Plus, it's a lot of care. You got to clean those animals' stalls. You got to feed them every day. You know, you got to make sure they're getting exercise and everything like that. So it should be a great event. I'm looking forward to it. Festival Speed's been awesome this year. Yeah. Orlando was one of them. Uh, we had one here in St. Pete. 
just awesome, awesome time. Awesome people we've always met at these events. So looking forward to a cow too as well. Um, great. Yeah, man. So thoroughbreds. I did it kind of goes with the cars, the thoroughbreds That's with right. the cars. That's right. There's a lot of Mustangs out That's there. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> or Black Stallions. Yeah, Black Stallions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's going to be good, man. Um, so come and join us for all the events. Guys, keep it locked to our social media. We got our YouTube channel. Make sure you guys go there, right? You subscribe, hit the all notifications bell so you guys get all the YouTube updates and our social media platforms. Don't forget. If you guys are missing out on some of these shows or you want to make sure that you're getting these shows, you got to go hit up the try dot and get all notifications from us to make sure that you're getting them. Otherwise, Facebook and Instagram does not make you aware of when we go live and stuff like that. Plus, we always have our times locked in. So, Titan Lifestyle every Friday with Big Drew, 2 p.m. Yep, they're right. And also, Titan Talk. Check out John on Tuesdays. He's got the new show. Oh, yeah. Rachel. Yep. Titan Wednesdays. Time with Rachel Titan Time on Wednesdays. Yeah. And they also have the AB show on Sundays. Man, that's crazy. Check out the podcast too, guys. Make sure you check out the podcast. Go to your iPhone, Titan Lifestyle on your podcast. Yep. You can listen to all these shows, past shows, yep. where you're driving, where you're cooking, where you're cleaning, so you don't have to get in a car accident. You don't that's wanna, right. You don't want to watch it while you're driving. You can listen that's while right. you're driving. So check out the podcast. We'll be back next week with more events, more great news. That's it for me. All right, guys. We'll see you next Friday. Titan Lifestyle, Big Drew. Have a great weekend. Later, guys.